Hey guys, so this has turned into a three video day rather than just a two video day. I'm spoiling you guys, but this is very alarming. So I thought I'll get this out as soon as possible. It's regarding the abduction of Eliza Fletcher, the woman who was um, abducted from Central Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee at 4.30 a.m on uh, September the 2nd, so just a couple of days ago. An arrest and a charge was made today on uh, someone called Cleotha Abston. He's been charged with especially aggravated kidnapping, tampering with evidence. And here is the arrest warrant. And there's some pretty disturbing details in here. And um, things don't look good, guys. So let's read through this. On Friday, September 2nd, 2022, at approximately 7 a.m., Memphis police officers responding to a missing person in the 1500 block of Carr Avenue. Richard Fletcher advised that his wife, Eliza Fletcher, went for a regular run around 4 a.m. and had not returned home. She was last seen wearing a pink shirt, purple shorts and running shoes. At approximately 6.45 a.m., citizen Miles Fortes rode his bike on Central Avenue near Zach H. Curling Street and found the victim's cell phone as well as a pair of champion slide sandals lying in the street in the same area. Fortes turned these items over to a family member of the victim who in turn turned them over to investigators. Therefore, investigators located video surveillance near 3876 Central Avenue that showed a black GMC terrain passing and then waiting for the victim to run by. A male exited the black GMC terrain, ran aggressively towards the victim and then forced the victim, Eliza Fletcher, into the passenger side of the vehicle. During this abduction, there appeared to be a struggle. The champion slide sandals were found in this area. The vehicle then sat in the parking lot with the victim inside for approximately four minutes before it drove off. The vehicle had noticeable damage to the back passenger tail light area. Additionally, approximately 24 minutes before the abduction surveillance footage captured the same vehicle in the area and captured a partial plate of, and then that is redacted. On Friday, September 2nd, 2022, the champion slide sandals were sent to TBI for DNA testing. Therefore, investigators developed Cleotha Abston, as otherwise also known as Henderson, as a person of interest in the investigation. DNA found on the shoes matched DNA for Cleotha Abston in the CODIS database. This led investigators to seek to confirm the whereabouts of Cleotha Abston before, during and after the abduction. Investigators were able to recover surveillance footage of Cleotha Alston wearing the same champion slide sandals a day before the abduction. This footage was obtained from the 1080 North Germanton Parkway Malco Theatre and was collected by Sergeant Dobbins. Cleotha Abston was found to reside in the redacted. This location has active utilities in the name of Gwendolyn Brown. Researching law enforcement databases revealed that Gwendolyn Brown had a black 2013 GMC terrain with license plate BDX7952 that is registered to her. Investigators also located a police report dated 9-01-2022 that listed the address in the 5700 block of Waterstone Oak Way for Cleotha Abston. Sergeant Payne and Sergeant Barrett then interviewed the owner of Majesty's Cleaning Service, Marilyn Pickens, who verified that she employed Cleotha Abston and he drives the GMC terrain and that his telephone number was redacted. Investigators obtained cellular records for this number. Analysis revealed that the cellular device associated with the number something near 3876 Central Avenue during the time Eliza Fletcher was seen being forced into the black GMC terrain. On September 3rd, 2022, at approximately 10.45am, 
The 2013 GMC Terrain with licence plate BDX 7952 was located by members of the US Marshal Service, Two Rivers Violent Fugitive Task Force. The vehicle was backed into a parking spot in a parking lot area of the 5700 block of Waterstone Oak Way and was confirmed to be the vehicle by the licence plate number and by a noticeable damage in the rear passenger side tail light. The damage was captured in the video of the abduction and a partial plate identification on surveillance footage. Further, members of the US Marshal Service Two Rivers Violent Fugitive Task Force observed a male subject matching the physical description of Cleotha Abston standing in the doorway in Redacted. Officers then detained Cleotha Abston in this location while he occupied the GMC terrain. When officers stopped Cleotha Abston, he attempted to flee but was taken into custody. Investigators interviewed Chantal Anthony and she stated that after the abduction at approximately 7.50 hours, she saw Cleotha Abston at the home of Mario Abston in the redacted. This is not the house that Cleotha Abston lives. She stated that she saw Cleotha Abston cleaning the interior of the GMC terrain with floor cleaner and stated that he was behaving oddly. This was later confirmed by Mario Abston, Cleotha Abston's brother, who stated that he too saw Cleotha Abston cleaning the interior of the car with floor cleaner. Chantal Anthony and Mario Abston saw Cleotha Abston washing his clothes in the sink of the house. He stated that it appeared Cleotha Abston was acting very strange. Cleotha Abston declined to provide investigators with the location of the victim. As the abduction was violent with something captured on video, the suspect waiting for them rushing towards the victim, then forcing the victim into the vehicle where she was confined and removed and continues to be missing. It is believed and supported by the facts. That doesn't sound good, guys. That does not sound good. Doesn't look like it's a kidnapping for ransom or anything like that. This guy, this guy here is not talking. So where is Eliza Fletcher? Where is she?